Hello, welcome back to another video. A friend of mine's daughter suggested this. See if I could do it for her. So I had a go and uh, it turned out pretty good, really. Uh, so started off with some scales and putting on an empty cup and resetting it to zero. And I got my epoxy resin mix, which is part A. Then whatever you use a part A, I mix 50% to part B, two to one ratio. Just giving that a mix now, two to three minutes. And just adding some black ink dye. And just giving that a mix again. Any few seconds for that. Just got this silicon mould. It's got some paw prints on and uh, two dog bones. And using the pipette, I'm just sucking the black out of there. And just putting it in the actual round parts of the paw. Like the pads, the pads like. Just try and fill them and not go over the edge. I'll just do another one there because I had some over. Put that aside now for a full day. Right, I just cut that out now so it's a bit more manageable. And that's it now after it's set now. I've got a key now. I'm just trying now to see where it's got to be on the pole. Just using a paper clip now, I'm just cutting that in half. And I'm going to use this now so she can hang the keys on a chain. I'm just placing that now, see where it needs to be. So once I was happy with that. What I'm doing now, I'm just using some super glue and just gluing that on. So it's together as one unit. So, just leave that set for a few seconds. Now, what I need to do now, I need to make a slit each side now so I can poke the, the key part and the paper clip part through. I'm just using a washer there just for a spacer so I can get the same distance and just piercing an hole with a, a sharp pellet blade. Doing the other side now, where the, the paper clip part will go. I'm just feeding it through now. Uh, I got completely off the uh, camera, I couldn't, uh, didn't show for some reason the camera not. So I'm just feeding it through there. I was happy with it. And what I didn't show, I just put some here uh, hot hot glue where the key ring comes out, just so so it stops the resin seeping out. Just adding some uh, mica powder in there now and some more resin. And just giving that a mix. Just adding a bit of glitter as well. If you wanted like a pink glittery colour, I'm just tipping that in now. So I spent a bit of time now getting as much air bubbles out as I could and just try and get no air trapped under that key. Let that full day again. 
And that's it now, fully set. I'd removed all the glue first. I'm just removing it now from the mould. That's that part done. Still got a bit of cleared up due on the key. Where it seeped out a little bit past the glue. Well, that's pretty much it for the main part of the key. And I thought to put a, a name of a dog on, on the back. With a sticker. So what I did, using my cricket machine, I cut out the name of a dog onto white vinyl. Transferred it to transfer tape. And I'm just sticking that now on the back of the key. Rubbing that down now, make sure we get all the all the air bubbles out the sticker. Make sure it's completely flat and sealed. And then just removing the transfer tape then. We also had these paw prints over from another project, so I just thought to put a couple of them on for her. So just pressing that down again. And another one at the top. What I'm doing what I'm doing now, I'm putting some UV resin on now. This sets with a UV light. Because when you do it when you put that resin in the mould, it sort of it, it shrinks a little bit, so it creates like creates like a bit of a pit. So this is a UV resin now. Uh, I'll bring it back up to surface now. So I'm just putting that on and just move it around with a cocktail stick. Try not to go over the edge really. Just adding a bit more on there. Sort of stops at the edge. This the uh, UV resin does anyway. So once I was happy with that, put the UV light on. Ended up this is 30 second long each time. This is so I ended up doing about four or five different times on that. And that's it. That's a finished key. So if you should enjoy it, and uh, it's pretty good, really. Still got to do a bit of clean up on the key part. But the overall key's done there. So if you should like it, something different for it. What I've also done, I've just done a different couple of different designs, what you can do, different colours, you can add different stuff and whatever you want. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, any questions, please leave in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.